We all know the scripture. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, of timidity, but of power, of love, and of self-discipline. In some area where you need self-discipline, and the enemy will tell you, I'm not man up. What do you say? You are joking. But it takes you knowing. When fear arises, you say, you are joking. You may be sick in your body. You say, hey, you are joking. You don't know who you are dealing with. You are dealing with the wrong person. In this body, sickness don't thrive. They die. It's because you understand. My body naturally kills sickness. That's what it is. Because I carry Zoe, God's kind of life. You have to understand these things. I, don't, I cannot be timid. No matter, I tell people, I may be broke as anything. You cannot intimidate me. You know why? My worth is not found in things. My worth is found in the Lord. And I know who I am. I'm the son of a king. You cannot be timid. You cannot be intimidated. Because why? You can stand. And that's why anywhere you find yourself, you stand tall. They may say they are nonsense, but you stand tall. Understand who you are. You stand your ground. You stand your ground. Let's look at Psalm 27 verse 1 and Proverbs 28 verse 1. One after the other. I know I'm rushing you. Psalm 27 verse 1. And what it says. It says what? A Psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? Let me show you another Psalm. I think it's Psalm 15. No, 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 no. no. Psalm 11. I think it's Psalm 11. Psalm 11. Psalm 11 verse 1. Before we go to Proverbs 28. Psalm 11 verse 1. Look at what David said in Psalm 11 verse 1. Is that it? I trust in the Lord to put for protection. So why do you say to me, fly like a bird to the mountain for safety? Verse 2. The wicked are stringing their bows and fitting their arrows on the bowstring. They shoot from the shadows at those who are right. Verse 3. The foundation of the law and order have collapsed. What can the righteous do? This is that scripture we quote. That if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Now, what was going on at that time? Somebody came to tell David that the enemy, they are coming with bows and arrows. And string out all kind of weapon. Run away and hide on the mountain. Look at David's response. Go to verse 1. That was his response. I trust in the Lord for protection. Why should I run? Stand your ground. You need to know the ground that you are standing. What ground are you standing? Must know the ground that you are standing. So why should I run? Many of us say this, you will start running. Which ground are you standing? So, so that after the battle, you are still standing. Because you know, David said, I am not running. I cannot run. If I run and hide, it means my foundation has been destroyed. My foundation is the Lord. The Lord is my protection. Why should I run? I've put my life in his hand. It says, after you have done everything, the enemy will come at you. But you must understand the ground on which you stand on. Go to Proverbs 28 verse 1. Proverbs 28 verse 1. Say the wicked run away when no one is chasing them. But the godly are as bold as a lion. Are you godly? Are you, are you, have you made the Lord your protection? You know, the beginning of that scripture we are reading in Ephesians. Remember, I emphasized on the verse 10 very well. I deliberately did that. The verse 10 says what? Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. It is because I am strong in the Lord and his mighty power. That is why I am bold as a lion. It's not because I have anything, but because I rest in his mighty power. I know my God is with me. He that dwell under the shadow of the most high shall ab- he that abide under the he that abide under the shadow of the most, most high shall dwell. Oh, I quoted it wrong, whichever one. 
eat uh, whatever I want. But that, you understand what I'm saying? That is why I am as bold as a lion. It's not because I have anything. Because I am in him. Say, stand uh, your ground. This is the hammer of God. You can't take it off. It becomes part of your DNA. You built it up. It's with you. In, on sickbed, in hospital, in the prison, wherever you find yourself. It is part of you. You build it up. That's why a friend of mine said, he said he told some people, Christians are gathering, you are joining them. You don't understand that if anything happens, you are the one that will carry it. Oh, you don't know we are at war. This is war. The enemy is not joking. He wants to take as much as possible down. It's not, we may think it's a joke. The kingdom of darkness don't think it's a joke. It's a serious, fierce battle. 